proud to be sponsored by Diamond Bright, the car care products that have been keeping the furious fleet looking their best for a long time already. To find all you need to keep your car clean and protected, follow the link below to diamondbright.co.uk. Hello, welcome to Furious Driving, and I'm here with the Alfa service wagon. Who'd have thought it? An Alfa Romeo rescuing a Mercedes. We're with my colleague Barry. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we come to look at the big yellow W123, the one that I foolishly gave to Barry, thinking, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, frankly. Um, you, you're thinking, I don't want all that work. Oh, yeah, that was what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, this, this is a 250 <laughs> rather than a 230E like mine. So in theory, it's a higher spec, but in practice, it's not. Mm. Um, since we last saw it, we've done a few things. Well, you've done a few things. Mm. We've sourced some Falcon, what are they? Um, uh, Sincera, Falcon Sincera tires all round. So it's got lovely new tires on it. So when the thing does actually roll again, it'll be rolling in style, comfort, and safety. Yep. A bit of black uh, is it enamel or something on the wheels. Uh, no, that's, di uh, that's a uh, hammerite. A hammerite, okay. Yep. Hammerite wheels, you've yep. done a service I've on it? Took them all off. I've completely serviced it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, we can um, start it, can't we? We, we possibly can. And the most, um, most importantly, you've look, actually look. changed that thing on the front, so now you, we don't have to go fishing with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers to open the bonnet. Yes. You've done a bit of cleaning under here as well, I believe. I have done quite a bit of cleaning under here. Um, yeah. So it was, because I, what I was trying to do is I was trying to figure out if there was a um, oil leak coming uh, yeah, okay. from the engine in Wow, anyway. look how shiny that is now. That was just pitch black before. It was, yes. Uh, so I have found there are a few leaks. Okay, oh, that's a, to be expected. A very, very slight leak around the front here for yeah. the rocker cover, which I've got a new seal for that. Okay. I haven't done it yet. Yeah. Um, also, there is one just coming from the bottom here, sort of near the oh, yeah, distributor. Distributor. Yeah, it's but, a seal, uh, seal on the bottom of that. Yeah, but can I find a replacement for that? Yeah, because this engine no. is a really unusual, weird one that didn't run for long or something. It isn't ran it? for quite a while, but the problem is there's not many of them left. Um, and the ones that were around were mostly limousines. In fact, oh, all okay. the limousines that were made on this were all 250s. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and I even spoke to a limousine company um, who had, were actually selling their limousines. And I said to them, where did you find the parts for the engine? He said, I had to go to a Mercedes classic car specialist refurbisher and they had to source the parts for me. So uh, I've, right. also, I've also silicon sealed that. Oh, okay, yeah, because you, you needed that and that's like an air leak and it was... Yeah. I couldn't find a replacement for it. So. Um, <laughs> anywhere apart from some company in Germany who would not actually send me stuff because I was in the UK and because of Brexit, they wouldn't sell it to me. So I tried to get it delivered to some family in Italy, but we couldn't get it done to go to them either because it wouldn't accept my card because it was a British card. Excellent. Yeah. This is similar to the problems I had buying stuff from the Netherlands for Volvo, which is, yes. So yeah. So, so um, you see uh, new HT leads. Yeah, but um, you say you're not sure they're the right uh, HTs. I was just deciding whether or not to actually send them back. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I literally put them on uh, yeah. last weekend, in fact and thinking, yeah, do I send them back, do I not? Mm. So since then also, I've obviously, uh, obviously nicely hammer oh, this yeah. as yep. well. Uh, no longer rusty. Bottom. Yeah, no longer rusty, and it's actually got the serial numbers and bits and bobs on Ooh, it now, so we can see what it is. So will it um, start? It's a good question, that is a good question. It's a valid question, it I think. Is, it is, I mean, yeah. this is leaking. Oh. This pipe here uh. is leaking over here. Uh, somewhere it's oh, leaking. It's rusted through. It's actually rusted through. And this is water <coughs> going to the heater? Yeah, oh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So um, I need to get that fixed. So uh, do you know how big the hole is? I mean, if it's just like a little pinhole. It's a pinhole. We could probably just blobble a bit of weld into it. Blobble a bit of weld. That is a technical term. Is blobble. A blobble. Yeah, yeah. If you read the welding oh. books, that is that is exactly what they say. I don't remember. I mean, I mean, I've not read a lot. Well, of, this just of... shows your your innocence and your naivety it's when it comes true. to welding. It's yeah. true. I mean, I, I I thought you know I know a little bit about welding, but no, this is I'm a pro. Blobble. Wow. Blobble. I'm, I'm a welding pro. We could probably blobble this. We could probably blobble it. Then we just defined it first. Yeah. Oh no, we found it the other day because oh, okay. Chris came round because he was the one who, who sort of. Uh, uh, Chris, the, the mechanic of all mechanics. Who, who's done work on my cars and has yep. been on the channel. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he popped round, um, as he's a friend of mine, um, and said, look, I'll, I'll tell you what you he's actually He's not your need friend, he's my friend. <laughs> my friend. I'm sorry <laughs> for that. Um, I'll tell you what you need to go and buy. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Where his actual words. <laughs> three, three or four hours later, <laughs> he'd finished. It wasn't that bad. Could have been a lot worse. But um, you, you say that. I don't. Yeah. Know, I forget which of the last video I did was on this car, but last time we saw it, the interior was a health hazard. It was literally a biohazard. Oh yeah, nicer than mine was. I this have, actually looks really quite nice now. I've actually cleaned it. Yeah, yeah you cleaned it quite a lot, I think. Yes, I have. Yes, yes, <laughs> I have cleaned. I've actually got rid of all the mould. Yeah, um, <laughs> the mold now gone. all the sort of black that was yeah. all over, over here um, was some baking soda, vinegar, water mix, and some scrubbing. 
cool. um, which was really, really but good. The colours, the worst avocado I ever. Can't, can't get rid of that, though. Mm, weird. Um, mm. Not quite sure what that was. I'm, I'm guessing at some point an owner smoked. Maybe, yeah. Um, so we can try this. Let's uh, give, it, give it a crack uh, and see what it says. Probably need to uh, charge the battery after this. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Just thought about it. Ooh, no, it on, might car. need a bit of help. But anyway, we're not starting it today. The point of today is to change this thing. This is all a bit crusty. A bit? A bit, a bit rusty. rusty. Do, you want to, do you want to see how rusty it is? I want to see how rusty it is, yes. <laughs> oh, oh dear, don't, really, don't go for that far. Right, okay, so I need to remember which one it is. It's this one. Well, it's making buzzing noises. Not doing a lot else. There we Wrong go. way, that's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's got, got it stuck. <clears throat> Give it a little hand. Wow, that is quite stiff. Uh, these rubbers in here, uh, this is actually not as tired as I thought it would be. I mean, yeah, but look underneath at this, Matt. Oh, that's not good. Really, really, all of this, where somebody take, took the seal off here completely, so uh, all this front section is just completely rusted. Yeah, I so mean, we can take it apart, put new seals in, do that? and see if we can make it better and more watertight. I don't think we can do any metal work on it today. No, um, so but this. you can see the, can you see the nice, um, oh, the, the holes. breathing holes? The breathing holes. Yes. Oh wow, that's um, <laughs> yeah, that's not meant to be. Oh look, you're poking my. I can actually. I'm touching, actually touching the headline through there. Touching the headline. Wow, yeah. that is astonishing. Um, that is is quite bad, isn't it? That's um, possibly the worst I've ever seen. Mm. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and and as you, if you actually look underneath here, you can actually see where all of this is rusted out, where somebody removed one of the seals and then left it outside in the rain. Oh look, it's the interior light. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure putting new seals is going to make a great deal of difference to this, but certainly putting a new front seal on. Yeah. and new side seals, which because missing the side seals completely. It's completely missing the one on that side. So, so this is what makes me think that somebody... Someone started looking at this. Started looking at this ages ago. Realised it was a major issue and then yeah, decided... Yeah, because look, over here... It's too much work. I've got this and this. Oh, those are the side seals, aren't they? So yeah. that, I think, is the side that's, that's seal. That's one of the side seals. Yeah. Because if you look, this goes th down here. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Gotcha. On here. Yeah. And that one's already got that one on that side, uh, and it's got yeah. the seal. So it's actually this side. Mm. Somebody took it off, thinking, "Oh, I need to sort that out," and then took it off, and then realised they're biting off more than they could chew. Realised how much of an absolute nightmare this is yes. going to be. Okay. To see how bad this was, mm. um, I've actually poked away, and I've actually got rid of. All <laughs> you the rest. You've made it worse. You mean? No, I haven't made it worse. I've actually realised the issue. Is what right. I've done. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> changing the rubbers might not be. Um, a hundred percent fix on this. No, no, well, it's not. I mean, the, I mean, this there is no, there is no drainage hole here. No. I've also hoovered all this out okay, previously, yeah. but um, it's probably going to need it again now. I think um, we don't do this seal today. Do you think that? Because I think that that might just tear the front of the roof apart. Try and get the old one out, and also it doesn't look that bad compared to everything else. So, yeah. and also once we get it out, we're going to have to paint a lot of stuff and maybe do some welding. I also think. At some point, we're probably going to have to weld that. We can unscrew those side panels again. These ones? I don't know, well, these ones. These, oh, okay. And we can weld this at some point in the future if we yeah, decide yeah, to yeah. go down that route. Because there is a So what you're thinking is just side seals. Yeah. And hopefully that'll make it a bit more watertight because currently it is dripping water onto the driver's seat when the cover's not on it. Yeah, and also then it goes across and then comes out on the passenger seat. Yeah, so, um, so if we can get that solved, we've got a bit more waterproofness and we can, well, there are, other options being considered for this roof, aren't there? Because that is a major repair, it turns out. Yeah, um, yeah, it is. So, yeah, the other options are find an entire replacement roof. A, a post to C post. A, a post to C, yeah, C post. Basically. In which case, you might as well just do a roof chop and lower it. I mean, how hard could that be? What do you mean, how hard could that be? It probably add like a morning's extra welding to it. I mean, a morning. Okay, morning and maybe okay, early drop afternoon. It, then you're, all the angles are wrong. So then you've got to re-angle the roof. <laughs> it's not like let's just chop a bit off here. Like, you, you, all of a sudden it's too <laughs> short. <laughs> you've so, got a glass cutter, haven't you? Oh, uh, obviously we take it off. Oh yeah, oh, that's another good point. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> just get one of those little glass cutters. Just score a line across there. Snap the top off. Jobs are good. I don't know if the jobs are good and exactly is the word I would use. Okay, yeah, I, I realise there is an issue because that's quite a nice vintage sticker on there, that? <coughs> yeah. Hey, I like that. Come on, that's five-star service on there. <laughs> Which is the only time you've ever been awarded five stars. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, harsh. <laughs> but fair. <laughs> right. Um, the, the, the problem with this car, I think, is, is, is the bodywork. It's got bubbly yeah. rustiness. Yeah. The pretty much in the engine. Everywhere. Um, the engine itself does run. Yeah. So, you yeah, know. It runs, it leaks, but it doesn't always start. But So the problem with this car, apart from the bodywork, the engine, the engine. transmission. The interior. Interior Obviously and transmission. Interior. Transmission's okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Brakes. yeah. yeah. Brakes are fine. Okay, yeah. so we've got transmission and brakes. We're, we're ninety percent there. We can go and stop. Yeah, in style. Yeah, um, we yeah. just need to um, sort yeah. the rest of it out. Right, let's get this panel out and then start looking at the front of that, and then we can panic over the rest ah, of it. Ah, there's good news. If you only want to do the side and front seal on there, <clears throat> you don't need to take the panel out. Do we not? Okay. Apparently not, from what I've been reading. Excellent. Which is actually quite a. That's a relief. Big relief, actually, because you yeah. have to take this lining off. Um, yeah, it gets, it turns, it escalates rapidly when you do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But we can probably we can clean this seal up. Yeah. At the front. Because this is this is quite a major job. Looking at how this goes in. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. a big box section, or C channel basically with yeah. this uh, angled strip on the front of it. This is the repair kit as purchased from somewhere off the internet. Yeah. So we've got the two side kits, which are not actually the entire metal mechanisms it's just like no. an insert that goes in there with a yeah like a felty brush type thing and a rubber insert hey, yeah. good and then we've got <laughs> ah, i see two i should probably open this rubber bag you open the bag i've opened the bag oh, look at it, yeah. <laughs> two bits of rubber in there here's one i prepared earlier but we said we didn't even look at what we're doing so not really so we've got two bits of rubber right. one is longer than the other yeah that i believe is the front insert section. that's the front insert yeah and this one is the rear one Oh, okay. So there's not oh. anything that goes on the front of there? No. Oh, okay. So actually, if we are going to do the front seal today, then we only actually need... Just do the sides. Sides. Hmm. Unless you really want to tackle that. Something makes me feel that this needs a bit of... Uh... Titillation? Oh, I was going to say... Titivation, not titillation. That's something else. <laughs> 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 Titivation. <laughs> uh, tidying was, up. I'd say I was going to say tidying up, personally. <laughs> with the V, it's, it means cleaning up. With the, with the T, it means something totally different. <laughs> I'm, not do, get... I'm not doing that to it. It's got sharp corners. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> right. Yeah, and on okay. that note. So have you got some painty stuff? Some rusty, rusty, pretend, preventative, and if painty stuff to paint into those rusty areas. Should be in the footwell on your side. There is. A poor, poor, poor. Poor 15. That's the one. I love the fact they've got no faith whatsoever in their can lids. So they, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> they wrap it in plastic. Yeah. Is that because they think the, rust, the can might go rusty? <laughs> I think it's because they're worried that it's so powerful, it's going to try and escape. Uh, that could be it, yeah. yeah. Right, let's do some stuff. I've brought so many tools. I've brought impact. I've brought new set of spanners I brought for the barn, I've brought new sockets I've brought for the barn, um, even heat extraction tool. I didn't bring basic stuff like screwdrivers because I thought Barry had them. But well I do have them, Mrs. But Barry. Mrs Barry has decided that she was going to borrow them again um, and she took them down to a holiday that we've got um, to do some work uh, yesterday and may have left them. I need to go and check in the other car. Back in a sec. So possibly uh, all of the screwdrivers, all, so possibly all the Barry screwdrivers are an hour away from here. So someone's taken out the grippery thing on that side, but not on this side, so I'm gonna dump in some- Just in case, Matt. Of this stuff, which hopefully will- Oh, lubricate. Will lubricate and penetrate. <laughs> so then they'll undo a little bit more easily. That's forwards, that's right backwards, that should be. Lefty loosey, tighty righty. Hmm. hmm. It's not loving moving. Oh. It's laughing at you, Matt. That appears to be just. I've got it on very low, so you might want to yeah, turn up the power. You also got it on do up. Uh, but that's, you said I had it the wrong way. <laughs> but it's laughing at you. Uh, what we need is... Hope. Hope and a hammer. Oh, a hammer. I've got a hammer. Hammer. Right, so what we'll do is try and shock free this. Oh, ow, ow. There's a lot of rust falling. Ow, bloody hell. Dude, you're not supposed to hit your hand. No, I didn't. It's kind of vibrated my finger into the rail. It's supposed to be raining rust inside the car. That's normal. Oh, cool. Probably. Yeah. 
hammer is one. That's Put it on hammer, are you? Yeah. Not, not, not screw? No. Obviously not. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, hey. One out. It's almost like you've done this before, isn't it? <laughs> Rust is my life. Oh my word. That's not really getting a good grip on that. Yeah, let me try from this side again. It's the angle, it's the width of the, the chuck. Ah. Oh. No. You know what? I think that actually that screws in at an angle. Is it? Yeah. That's facing down. Yeah, it is. It's up like that. Yeah, that's why um, you're struggling to get a good... Yeah, that's the angle it's on. Yeah, purchase. Yeah, let's get some mold grips. I brought them. I yeah. thought you wouldn't have advanced stuff at mold grips. You've got so mold grips. Them. Didn't bring basic stuff like uh, pliers, not pliers, like got screwdrivers. Pliers. Yeah, I do have screwdrivers. Just not here. Yeah, but again, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that's my fault. Because um, it's not. Hmm. How much? Uh, I think we are going to need to go and get a screwdriver. Yeah. No, it doesn't Bloody work. Hell. <laughs> it's just going to hurt someone. See that? You're not going to. It needs to be longer than that because yeah, don't get that. Don't look up. Oh, it's moving. That's moving. Oh, it? it doesn't need to actually be. No, no, it's it's loose. Is it? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Take that out of there. Oh, you don't think it to. actually moved? No, I think it so. did. I saw it move. See back. Um, see it moving? Oh yeah. Ah. There we go. It's moving. Phew. Out. Huzzah. Now, is there another one? I can't see because of all the rust. <laughs> <laughs> it won't actually go. It, uh, this strip needs to come off. I, I, it's rusted to the headlining. Rusted? Well, bonded through rust. It, I think somebody's actually taken that off. And they haven't put that screw back in because it was too rusted. Mm. Take it off, unscrew them and see what happens. I think this is a mistake. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Um, but we can't get to that other screw without... Well, we can with a regular screwdriver. You and your regular screwdrivers, eh? Do you know what I almost bought myself the other day? A screwdriver? No. No, when the um when we went to um oh so retro. Oh yeah. What I almost bought myself in one of the shops was the extended um drill bits. That would have been helpful. That would have been really <laughs> helpful right now, wouldn't it? Mmm. Do you know what else would have been really helpful? Regular screwdriver. Working a treat, this one. Yeah, that's a good one. Perfect oh, fit. My back. <laughs> I'm going to borrow some screwdrivers from a neighbour because, yeah, all the various screwdrivers are in Margate. Yeah, that one is perfect. Job done. The screw's sort of gone down there somewhere. Did we borrow any like flathead screwdrivers as well? Oh, anyway. I don't know if he gave us any of those. No, I don't think he did. I just need to get, just need right. to get the screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Success. Well, if you want to call it that. Well, of a sort. Um, where'd that pallet knife go? Yeah, that's a pretty good... Uh, I think I framed that shot quite well. <laughs> you sure you want to use that and not my, my wonderful... Um... I don't want to lose a finger with it. There we go. Man, that is so rusty. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go and get me... Uh, me de-rustifiers. I'm going to get me de-rustifiers. Quality. It was. Safety third, because, you know... These things can fly up and, and cause terrible injuries. So that's why I'm wearing glasses. Yep, safety third, I'll yep, say, yeah. Absolutely. But obviously my hand on the other hand, I don't really care about. No, you could lose the hand. Oh yeah, the hand doesn't matter. It's my left hand, I'm right-handed, so. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. When did you last use your left hand, for goodness sake? <laughs> Only on a special treat. <laughs> I'm not including that. <laughs> Now the new bits, the little side channels, the video we saw about how this goes together, someone had to get a Dremely thing and cut chunks out of it because it didn't go in. Oh, hang on. Oh, wait, hey, wait, whoa, okay. This is the old one. Which sits in there like that. Yeah, just like that. So that, oops, clamped up like that. Now, so. the question is, Oh, this is quite a lot deeper than the old one. Deeper. I think that's one of the issues. It's also slightly longer. Too long. But that's okay. It's only a bit long, too much long. Uh, too long by about a uh, centimetre, I think. We've got I scissors. It. Got a pair of kitchen scissors that will do that for this. Wow, well, I've got a Dremel. I've got a. Uh, okay, yeah. I've got the thingy as well. The 
Angle grinder. That's it. Nothing like overkill. Yep, it's good. <laughs> you hold it, I'll angle grind it. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't do this at home unless you've got uh, steel toe cap boots. Um. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still your Australian boots that you love to bits? These are my old pair, but yeah. They're right. Which are actually more comfortable than the new pair. Maybe you've worn them in? They started out more comfy as well. They changed the design. These were slightly wider, uh, uh, a bit shorter toed. The new ones are a bit more pointy toed and look a bit smarter. Uh, uh, these ones look a bit more work booty. But they yeah. don't do this design anymore. Which is a shame. Yeah. yeah. We could take that out. Now this was, is this, is this just clipped in? If I just pop yeah. it, is that going to pop it? It should just pop it straight out. It's not going to break. Shouldn't do. Hmm. Oh, so, there you go. that's good. Oh, um, actually, you've taken out slightly. Oh, that's right. You've taken out the actual plasticky bit as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So we can get the wire brush in there. Oh. Oh. Not me. Hey. It is significantly more solid than the other side. I mean, that's not saying a lot, but it's definitely better. There is an unpleasant dampness to the entire situation. There is, isn't there? It does look, I can see it looks moist from here. Yeah. I think it looks moist because it is moist. Is that because of the moisture levels? Yeah, the moisture levels are adding moistness to it. Oh, yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. It Ooh, is that supposed to come away? What? <laughs> <laughs> Looking fragile. Yeah. Um, should we get a vacuum cleaner? Vacuum. Vacuum. To you. To me. To me. To you. It's going to rain, isn't it? Nah. It's definitely going to rain. Wet and dry vacuum thing stand up. It's got an anti hair wrap in it as well. Well, if there's any hair in there, we'll. Oh, oh, hold on. It's not really likely to be a problem, though, is it, Barry? No, no, but I've got. I've got. <laughs> I hope not. <gasps> right, hold on. I've got an extra bit. Oh, good. He's got an extra bit. Hey, <laughs> No, he's got no blocky to death. It's already TV. blocked up, so that was basically a massive waste no, of time. Is that? I can still use this bit. Um, is that blocked already? No. Nope. Yeah. Okay, do you reckon that's um, clean enough? I reckon that'll do. No, that's not the question I asked, was it, Matt? That's the answer you're getting. Damn it. Yeah. So that you can read the back of the think, can. Oh, do you know what? I'll just see what. It's no, that actually Doesn't makes work. it work. No. It is a little bit dirtier than my actual mm. reading glasses. Yeah. So, um, do you know, this week, Rob, this, during the last five days, I lost my my glasses, th these glasses, I lost them. Oh, I, I thought you said you had lost them and you said to me you were going to go and get a new pair. Yes, well, I couldn't find them for like a week and a half yes. and I thought I don't want to buy new glasses because yes. the moment I buy new glasses... Then you'll find the I'll old find glasses. Them. So yes. anyway, I went up to Hemel Hempstead Valley, went down to the obstetricians and said, could you reglaze my rather nice um, Ray-Ban yeah, yeah, yeah. spectacles? Yeah. And they did them and they were reglazing my um, sunglasses, which are also the Ray-Bans, so the same things. Um, Best part of 500 quid later <sighs> and a 10 day delay. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, got home, yeah. moved the cupboard. Found your glasses. Found my glasses. <laughs> See, well, that's, you, what you could have done is you could have done that at the beginning of the week. If you'd have gone out and bought some new glasses at the beginning of the week, I you would have, have found problem. your old ones. Instantly. Then. Wouldn't have had the hassle. Exactly. Good time saving money. Exactly. <laughs> 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 See, sometimes if I'm waiting like for you to come around or other bits and pieces to happen, I actually start doing something in the house. If I start doing something in the house, guarantee that you'll turn up. Exactly, yeah, so you don't want to interrupt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So then I know that you'll yeah. be you know, there in a couple of minutes. That's how I get parcels to be delivered if I'm waiting for a delivery. Uh, I just go to the toilet. Yeah, okay. exactly. Then, yeah, as soon as you yeah, close yeah, that door, yeah. that, knock, knock, knock. Exactly. Yeah. And you go, wait a minute, I'll, okay. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, right, back to the job in hand. But anyway, sorry. we are aware this mm -hmm. is not a full repair. No. You don't need to be commenting in the comments that, <laughs> you know. Are you telling me the poor 15 won't fix that hole for me? I suppose if you put enough in there, it might do. Um, well, it'll definitely block it up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know this is I like preventative maintenance that will hopefully improve the amount of water that's falling into the car and stopping the floor rotting yeah. out. Yeah. And this is going to be a significant deal. When it's coming to winter. You know, and winter is coming, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Should we start um, painting? Yeah, I'm um, just actually working out if I need to get myself a steering stick. <laughs> this is going to go badly. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> well, I know that this car needs a repray a spray, yeah. Matt, but <laughs> what I'm concerned about is painting stuff in here, dripping through the headlining and going onto the seat. Oh, shit, you lumps, yes. Put that towel that's, over it. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> 
Look at that. I mean, what's that? Nothing's getting through that. Nope. It's hermetically sealed. Mm hmm. By a hermit. By a hermit? Hermetically sealed. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a good. Yeah, I guess. That's probably not where the word comes from. Probably not. Yeah, My favourite um, hermit was Santa Million, whose um, most of his um, saintly um, miracles were to do with bread. Oh, really? A, yeah. a bread based saint? He was pretty much like, you know, taking bread out of an oven without gloves. Well, that's pretty good. Um, How's it, what was his tiger bread like? I love a bit of tiger bread. I, they didn't say. There was some uh, mention in there about um, how he'd magi magically um, uh, appeared bread from underneath his coat. Oh, really? Mm. That, that sounds like a bit of a, a story, like he'd just been caught by the, uh, the store security card. <laughs> <laughs> no. I actually think I've got new moistness on that seat. That's this down here? Yeah. Yeah, that does actually feel moist, yeah. It's not rained while we've been out, so I'm guessing it's had... But you had a cover on the thing. Yeah, I know. Is That's that, what's worrying Is that me. coming from underneath? What's? Is that, is that coming from underneath the car? There's no such thing as, um, that's not going to happen. But rising damp no, in the car. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> I've not got a TV series. <laughs> got rising damp and termites. <laughs> you know what I should have done before doing this? Go on. Taken this metal strip off. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. I'm sure I will be fine, but... Now, please no one comment on my painting he just painted ability. the <laughs> In all fairness, that might help. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not a bad thing. I don't actually have my glasses on, so I can't, this you is got, all blurry. You've got your safety goggles on top of your head, so at least... No, but they, I found, what I found earlier, Matt, is yeah. they don't help. Oh, it's like Michelangelo at work. <laughs> Did you ever see him at work? Yeah, He's a yeah. right git. Yeah, <laughs> he's constantly demanding cups of tea, biscuits. Well, that it's actually the internal lining. So well, there's not much the side, point. If you're looking back towards yourself though, you see like the, the inner wall oh, yeah. of the roof channel. The only thing is we're gonna to have to do some welding around here. Yeah, I know, but so, you, you have to cut all of it out. So just stop yeah, it rotting true. back any further while you can. Where does the music from the gallery go from Tony Hart? Dun. Da, 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 That's a girl from Ipanema. <laughs> I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, ding. Ding. I thought I mean, you were both oh, See, I thought you were start, going to start doing a bit of carpenters then. <laughs> Why do birds suddenly appear? <laughs> <laughs> Could have put the seed out in the garden. My bird scene brings all the birds to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. <laughs> right, so we're going to paint this area here as well so we can get some solid metal to stop it rusting. And the other day, one of the videos, some kind gentleman who I'm gonna not call what I would like to call on camera because I'll get demonetized if I called you what I think of you, um, was telling me I was a very foolish person for using a screwdriver for scraping things. So look at me, using a scraper. But only because I couldn't find a screwdriver. I, I, I call you a foolish thing all the time. I'm man. gonna really upset this bloke in Scotland now. So yeah, to really upset him, I'm now using a chisel for scratching paint off a roof. Yeah, that's my special chisel. That. Do you know what I use that chisel for? Scratching paint off roofs? No, actually, I use it to uh, undo the um, blades out of my um, shredder. Oh, shredder. <laughs> <laughs> you're a craftsman, you're a true craftsman. Oh though. yeah. I've just painted this, by the way. Have you? Yeah. Doesn't look it. Not now, it doesn't, no. <laughs> yeah. so we have a bit of craftsman <laughs> at work. Well, to Hallway carpet. That's right, it's all going in my face. Oh, it's fine then. While I get 999 on speed dial, I've been painting up these inner things, inner rails, both sides done nicely. I thought I'd make a start on the actual ramps as well because they're a bit rusty. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. And the thing's not bad either. All right. Oh, hey. Now, Matt, yeah. I'm just throwing this out there. Yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, earlier on, we liberally lubricated yep. said nut. Yep. That's now a, you're yeah. about to set fire to it. Yep. You say that like it's going to be a problem. No, no, I'm just getting it on camera. <laughs> Sorry, it, it, will, it will burn the, uh, the oil off. Yeah, I know. Fairly it's, rapidly. It, it shouldn't uh, no, it, totally it, destroy the car. It's very unlikely. I mean, it's barely two or three of the cars I've done still have caught fire. All oh, right. Out of two four. or three. Oh, four. Okay, four. Four. <laughs> So while we're waiting for the paint to dry, I mean, we're literally waiting for the paint to dry, there is a rusty bolt in the back of the battery tray which needs to come out. I've doused it with a bit of that already, but it hasn't taken off yet. So we are breaking out the big guns in the form of 
Heat induction tool. Heat induction tool. Right. Timmy, fetch me my tools. I'm so just basically, watching Matt set fire to my car. Yep, all we do is put this over the offending article. Ooh. Nothing really gets hot apart from the thing itself. Uh -huh. Now Barry's tackled this a bit in the past. You can see there's a few marks on the bolt because Barry's been trying to undo it. I have tried. It's a weird nine millimeter size. Hours. Yeah. To try and get that off. Now, this just gets the thing insanely hot in real short order. You can see the smoke coming off already, but you can still touch the panel itself. You can touch that panel there. It's not getting anything apart from the bolt hot and the immediate surrounding area. Once we've got it really, really hot, then we'll put the socket on it and hopefully wind it out. Because this all needs just painting it does. to de de-rustify my case head. Hopefully we'll start to be able to... That's a weird size. It's a 9mm socket doesn't quite want to fit in it. We've got a slightly misshapen 9mm No, I think spanner. I had to use a Imperial last oh, time. Oh really? Put a little tap on there. That's slightly more than the little tap I was expecting you to use. No. Let's try more heat again. See? Excessive heat is required. Do you know what's really annoying? It's actually bought a uh, new rail of... You're actually just touching it to the metal now, aren't you? It doesn't matter. If you... It's best not to, because you get grot into the um, the weave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you know what? What? Oh, there's tea's ready. Oh, fantastic. No, that's not actually gripping at all. Oh. Wait, oh, did that turn then? Did that turn then? I don't know if it turned, or if it just... Yeah, it's turning. It's turning. There we go. Now the thing you've got to remember with using this tool is, because there's no fire, and because it's so easy... Don't touch it afterwards, because it's, really, it's still burning hot. It's really easy to forget that the bolt you're undoing is actually red hot and about <laughs> 100 degrees centigrade. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you kind of do that one time only. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, which hand is it you had to have the skin grafts on? Uh, <laughs> you're now using the fingers. You just said don't do that. It's been a minute or so. Uh-huh. There we go. Hey! You need to undo that. I've got to undo that one. You're free. And the so, one over there. Well done. Um, induction heat miracle. Yay, Yay! We love you! Yay! Love you, induction heat miracle. Hurrah. Right. There is another one now. Right. A second victory for heat induction. There was another bolt down here which we couldn't undo either, so it was keeping the battery tray in place, which needs to be taken off and painted and you know, rust-proofed. This is a weird one, it's like eight and a half millimetres. A really, really strange size. Eventually got it boiling hot, got it off, whoops, with the mole grips of destiny. Job done. Yeah, You'll wonder right. where the yellow went when you brush with mint in. Look at all the rust in there. It's only surface, I'm fairly confident. It's just stuff that's falling it's off. It's actually from the tray from itself. From the tray itself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's good um, you took it out, because that would just sit there and rot into the bulk yeah, otherwise. Yeah. So yeah, that was a, a minor but important job done there. So this is uh, an important aspect about not touching your face when you've got poor 15 <laughs> on your fingers. Uh, does, it, can you, is it, does it show? Barely notices, it'll be fine. Yeah, Sorry. you'll be fine. I'm right to go out then, yeah? It is literally not. It is not fine. Now, because the old HT leads needed the little knobble, knobbly bits taken off the top of the spark plugs, we took them off and then lost them. They're in that box down there, we just found that. The new HT leads do need the knobbly bits put back on, so we put them on, so... Can't reach it, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay! Oh, no. Ooh, that. Not quite. Oh, there's a lots of there, smoke then. coming out the top then. That's fine. Does this sound better or worse than before? It sounds like, it, sounds like it's missing, doesn't it? Yeah. Your uh, car might be slightly fumigated. My car's full of exhaust now. This, this thing, this it. I think these. Um, It sounds it's, not so much like it's missing, more like it's um, uh, exhaust is puffing off the manifold. Putting it back in again, I think the furry bit goes in first, then you offer up the side on bit to clamp it in place, then you put your screws in, and basically it's all there is to replacing the side furs. That's like a really easy job. It's not that tightening. In? It's going, it's in, but it's not tightening yeah. up. It's just spinning in there. We'll put the other ones in and come back to that. So that well, should be vaguely waterproofish. Well, ish. How waterproof is fur? 
Waterproof is notable for, you know, ducks are notably waterproof and they're furry. Mm. You know, say water off a duck's back and you're going to see a, 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 a duck in the mm. woods, that's big brown things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That climb yeah. trees and eat honey from bees. Yeah, yeah. Oh, live in caves. Oh, you got cave gri ducks. Grizzly duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, black duck. duck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Polar uh, duck. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're waterproof. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. got fur, so I don't see why this wouldn't be. Yeah, because ducks themselves don't like it when it rains because they have to re waterproof their feathers, I mean, fur. Do they? Yeah. What do they um, use? Um, using a gland, using a, a, secret, a secretion. A secretion. Mm. the gland. That sounds disgusting. Does, doesn't it? That's... I'm mm. not going to stroke any more ducks. That's not. <laughs> have you stroked a lot of ducks in your life? Surprisingly few. Yeah. Right, other side. Probably for the best. For you, yeah. <laughs> that junk's in underneath there. Wee, 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 wee. And. Oops. That slots in underneath there. You can afford a bit for that. Just need to go like that. that there. Yeah. So we we looked, we pulled this out a little tiny bit, and this front one, it looked like it was just going to take chunks of roof with it. So better to leave it undisturbed, and we'll coat it with a bit of uh, bulldog at the end. It's almost like I've done this before. Well, no, you've done one side. You're an expert. Well, actually, technically, I have done one before. Well, exactly. Yeah. You're an expert. When did you put that back on? Earlier on. Oh, I didn't see you do that. Yeah. You were doing. You're heating this underneath the. Oh, right. I was in the bonnet. Let's see if this thing actually works. <laughs> oh, we needed to grease this, didn't we? Oh yeah, hang on. Wind it back. I've heard of people using like, greasing machine tools and stuff with this because it's just so good at everything. Right, wind it forward. Going forward. Going forward. Once it starts. Yeah. The thing is, this went forward and backwards absolutely fine when I last did it. Mm. Oh, man, that's that seriously not good. That's not good. Right, let's go back. If we can. Right, back. Backwards. Oh, it's getting stuck at that, that point, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it feels easy going back now. <clears throat> uh, do you know what? That what? one, that guide on your side, isn't going down far enough, I think. Go back. That little guide there is not going all the way down. Is it not? Oh, it is now. I have to push it. Okay. Let's do everything all at once. Right. Mm. I'll lose a finger, eh? <laughs> I think this fur... Oh, 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 go stop. This fur is pushed out sideways. Oh, I'm just going to work on a computer. So much easier. They don't fight back, but they do. They do, they're horrible things. There we go. Almost there. We're oh. almost there. The leech needs to raise up at the back. It won't quite go. It's not quite in, is it? No. Okay, out. I want a reason. There's some sort of thing getting stuck on this over here. Well, if that's all rusted up and everything, that might be malshapen. Mm. Yeah, because like you said, that thing was missing from it already. It so was. That was significant in its absence. Are we ready? Are we ready? Easier every time. It's not just... It's just this just... corner here. Is it? Yeah. It's yeah. closing more on your side, but not quite on that side. Ooh. Right, now it's shut, but it hasn't wound up at the back. And I don't know why it's not doing that. And the motor is making horrible windy noises. Ah, I wonder if it's... Is it shut all the way? It's all the way closed. But it... No, I don't think it is. Oh, really? It's, it's right underneath that little corner just there, but not on that side. It is, it is up on that. Oh, you know what? I think this strip is... Oh, that's too wide for it to go up into. Yeah, I think so. I think it can't hmm. go up into... Let's give it, I'll go and give that some more whacking. <laughs> Every time I open it and close it, it does seem to be a little bit easier. Oh, <laughs> not greatly easy, though. <laughs> okay, let go. Let's see. See that? Now it's going yeah, back on its own. That's better. Okay. Right. I'm going to hit it with a hammer. I can definitely feel it catching on this. So that's the point where it's getting stuck. Yeah, it's hitting here. Look. It's, it seems to be snagging on this driver's side one. We're taking this side out again because it wasn't in there when the thing was shutting previously. We wonder if there's some kind of deformation. The deformation, deformation, not deformation of character. Um, on deformation? this de de deformation, deformation. Yeah. yeah, on this side. So we're going to try and see if it will close again. Oof. If we take the, uh, the got it. 
I'm a big fan of the massive screwdriver. I like trying to do this like chopsticks almost. And it's getting stuck there. Oh, we get, oh, it's up. Not in this corner here though. That is actually making it move. Yeah, you're up. Okay, we're there. Not burn the motor out. So it looks like there is a problem with the. F Any answer? It's so tight over here. Mm. Already. I wonder if where it's rusted. Yeah. Things have moved. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There's no room at all for the fur, is there? No. Oh, not good. Not good. The new fur flex is now sitting slightly proud of the roof that side. Yeah. It almost looks like it's too big. Hmm. Um, so we're probably going to have to take the roof panel out after all uh, in order to reposition it with the new Furflex. Maybe get some different Furflex. Well, sorry, it's not Furflex, it's just like fur-covered rubber. Um, yeah. So yeah, we've basically, let's like say... We've actually made it worse. Yeah. So now gone from yeah. dry on one side, wet on the other, to probably wet on both sides. Yeah, well, I've got a nice sort of big gap here now. Yeah, so not a hundred percent success then. No. No, not no. really. What you might call a... Um, what's the word opposite of success? Uh, I don't know. Begins mean. with F. Um, <laughs> we, we've failed it right up. Yes. Fagined. Fagined it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well and truly fagined. But they're truly, utterly... Fagined. Fagined. But... It's been fun. Oh, well, exactly. It's an yeah. afternoon out. Yeah. Well, it's out for you. I mean, well, yes, yeah, you didn't leave the house. Well, I didn't. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, I've left the house. Do you get screwdrivers? Yes. And, and I'm not technically in the house right no, now. No, true, yeah. No. You're not breaching the, uh, the rules of your parole. <laughs> <laughs> Restraining order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As well. Yeah. <laughs> At least we got the uh, tray out, so that's well, really yeah. good. There's one minor success. We've now freed off the battery tray so that can be painted and the rust underneath it can be cleaned up. Oh. And so it's marge... did, you, did you show everyone the, the, the lovely new clip I put in here oh, as well? We mentioned it, didn't you? Show, show it. Show it. But yeah, uh, good work. A, thank yeah. you very much. I'm quite proud of that. Right, so this has not been the most productive of days. It's been interesting seeing how the, the uh, sunroof mechanism works. Mm. There's a chance I might need to do it on my car and then I can go and get a better kit and do it properly. Um, yeah, fair point. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> And it's nice to have a little catch up on the car and see what we've got to. There have been improvements all around the thing. And the fact that you can have sit in it now and it doesn't cause you any kind of hideous illness is, mm, mm. is definitely a benefit. I think so. Oh well, thank you for watching. Join us again next time when I'll we'll probably come back to doing my own W123. Come back here. Not here, no, not here. Come back here. He's on his own, his own problem. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> see you again soon. Like, Bye. subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You know the drill. Goodbye.